Hi, Carol here. A big warm welcome to my craft room. And yes, I am going to... Uh, hello. Yeah, don't shake your head at me. <laughs> I've named my little dog, thanks to one of my YouTube friends, Spanky, because my grandson likes to watch Spanky and the gang, and my friend has a dog named Spanky, and I think it's cute. But anywho, my next tutorial is on the polychromo card that I'm doing, a comparison. I, I'm not even going to tell you about it right now, but I'm using the Color Burst by Ken Oliver and the brushos. So that's for my background. But anyway, I'm super, super happy because I didn't buy much product in 2017, as you know. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> he has quite the attitude, doesn't he? Anyway, I've been um, so anxious to get a couple of orders in. Now, this is one that I got earlier. This is something, this heat wave, I just found while I'm cleaning up my craft room. And I can't wait to do some brush lettering with that. So I threw it in because it was right beside me. But this order here, I've had for a couple of weeks. And I've been saving it for my other orders. And two of them came today. I couldn't wait. I still have two more coming, but... I'm going to share this with you if you don't mind. I couldn't stand myself. He could... <laughs> Out of the way! So I ordered from Top Flight Stamps. And that's different companies, I think, when you go on there. And tell me this little ostrich is not the cutest. I can't wait. This would look so cute through a window. You know, you don't need the rest of the body. That crazy, cute head says it all doesn't it it's, it's what i look like when i get up in the morning i'm just being honest folks <laughs> anyway i had um some stamps that as i was going through and ordering i really loved and they were so crazy affordable our boxing day sales are wonderful so um this is one of the rain stamps. Is that not cute? It kind of, I don't know, I just like the way it fell on an angle. It's so pretty. And um, I'll leave a link on my blog to as many of these as I can find again, which I could probably find them all. I ordered them. <laughs> right? <laughs> Crazy me. <laughs> so I will go and find it for you and I'll post it on my blog. And this one here, uh, it's Crafty Individuals, and I loved it. It's from the UK with the fence and the flowers. This would be awesome for on the side of an envelope. And read this. Maybe I'm an artist and maybe I ain't, but all my best clothes are covered in paint. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's wonderful. I think the most I get covered is uh, the end of my sleeves when I'm leaning over if I'm painting or something. But anyway, I thought that was kind of cute. And this is an envelope corner stamp. I love it. Craft emotions with flowers. Look at that corner. Uh, and then you could uh, do a reverse stamping and put it on each side of your envelope. I love doing envelopes and I thought this would be nice. I mean, it'd be nice just on the corners of a card as well. So uh, that was something, yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's what I must have been saying right there. There you go. And because I'm a farm girl, I'm not a city girl, I'm totally, I live in a farm, I love this. Look at the barn, the tractor, the fence, the milk can. Just loved this. We had an old barn that looked just like that behind our house back in the day. I think this is fun to do backgrounds. Uh, when you stamp this, you know, and practice that. So that's what I plan on doing with it. And I picked the names. I picked six names for my cards. I'm throwing this in, and only four have replied. So if you check your, if you put in to win one of the cards for Christmas, would you please check and see whether you, you've been picked and I left you a message so I can get the other two winners and get these sent off. Now, this is a stamp pad, a foam stamp pad. It was so inexpensive, so I, I bought it. So I might give that away as a gift because I do have a few of them. And people ask me about my 140-pound card stuck that I get at Beatty's. I picked up 50 sheets here. 
and I wanted to show you because they're so crazy white. That's the name of the company that company that I get them from, Beatty's Basics in Canada. So if you're looking for um, really good cardstock, that's where I got mine. Now I'm going to open up, I think this is Simon Says Stamp. Yes, it is. And I got two packages there. I ordered this beautiful glitter paper. And I think everybody that watches tutorials has seen this from Simon Says Stamp. These are the six by six, I think they are. I didn't even measure. One might be six by six and one a bit bigger, but I'm not sure. Probably six by six. Let's go with that. And I fell in love with the colors. And I have a glitter paper, but these, uh, the colors got to me. I just thought they're gorgeous, especially the copper, gold, and silver. So while I ordered this, I thought, I love copper, gold, and the silver. I'm going to order the other one. <laughs> So I did. I ordered that other one. And um, I'm not going to do much shopping for the year 2018 because I got the polychromos first. And then I ordered, uh, you know, some orders so that I could be on top of a few things for you uh, in case you're interested in some of the products. And look at this one. This is, the, I think, the silver, gold, and copper, if I'm right. Don't think we can have enough of gold anything do you <laughs> yeah and silver it's so crazy pretty and this is as light there's the copper and they it glitters but you know you can put your hand across it and it's as smooth as cardstock truly so you have the two copper the two gold the two um, rose gold and the silver I love it I can't wait to use it up and when I die cut these, I always take the guts out of it and only use the edges. <laughs> I'm cheap that way. I like to use and keep as much as possible. Now here's the second order that I bought at Simon Says Stamp. And the reason why truly I bought this is because I needed that roll of scotch tape on there. And generally I go over to Buffalo, New York uh, over the border and get it at Staples, you know, a store like that. But um, I wanted it. I was running low, so I thought, okay, I'm just going to order a roll. And then the few things that I hadn't gotten that were, um, you know, that I knew I could use. This is the stuff I knew I needed and I would use. And one of them, as soon as I'm finished here, well, the Simon Says Stamp, uh, black ink. I'll get to that after. I just kind of left this in because I want to thank everybody. I hope everybody's very healthy and I'm so pleased to be back and healthy myself because it was a long few months uh, a little while back and I thank you for your prayers and support and all of your comments. They mean a lot to me. You have no idea. Everybody needs encouragement, right? And that's why I answer all my comments because you take the time to write to me and I get encouragement and I want to encourage you right back. So if you don't hear from me, it's only because I missed it. <laughs> I always go back and try and check and see if you're there. You know, I missed anybody. And uh, anyway, I thought I'd throw that in. Um, yeah, that's this order. That was a separate order I'm showing you there. I think I just did this so I could have a little yak. And these are the retractable, excuse me, I'm just getting them. They're number 10, 11, and 15, I think. And wow, they're beautiful cutting blades. I love it. I don't know why I didn't get that earlier. Probably because I wasn't ordering anything. I just set them there. They're as light as a feather and sharp as can be. I've already taken them out of this package. They're gorgeous. Um, I'm not up close enough to read the blades what actual blades there are there, but they're, they are nice. And then my sweet petunia, I never had the long magnet. So I thought, I need that. So <laughs> I got that. I needed to get some scissors here, something to open it up. And um, yeah, the magnet bar. Every time I watch a tutorial, I'm always saying, oh, I need that long magnet. And so now I have it and I'm thrilled. 
to uh, to get that. I have to go put some washi tape on it so that uh, it doesn't get away from me. And there you have it. I guess I opened it up with the pokey tool just to see it. And while you're looking at that, um, I have a card that I did uh, yesterday. And I did two cards. There's two cards in one. I did a large background. So I'm going to finish that today and get that tutorial. Spit it out, Carol. I'm going to get that up later on. I'll do the edit for that. It's sitting right beside me. And um, yeah, I have a few things to say about those uh, polychromos. And I'll tell you that in the video. And another thing besides the magnet that I wanted to get here and the roll of scotch tape because I was running low is this number 12. No, is it a 12? Or is it a 15? I can't. Oh, look, look, magnet. <laughs> yeah, there it is, a magnet. Was the number 12 black velvet brush. I have the size 4, 6, and 10. No, 4, 6, 8. Excuse me. And uh, I didn't order the smaller ones, like the detail brushes in the black velvet, because I have some good paint brushes in the detail brushes. So, um, yeah, and here's the Tom B. Tom, let me see, Ganze Tambi. Whoa, Carol, come on. Ta Ganze Tambi. <laughs> I love it. I'm so happy to be back. I can't, I can't hide my happiness. And um, those are the new colors. So I went to my stash. Look at them, gem colors. They're so pretty, aren't they? And yeah, I'm dusting too. These are the fine tech. I haven't used them yet, but I wanted to use those with brush lettering. I love fine tech. They're from Germany. And let's brush that off. <laughs> let's get that dust off. And those are the pearl colors. And then I think there's one more right there, if I get it. They're so pretty just to look at, aren't they? And this was from Michael's. I thought it was from Walmart, but it's from Michaels. It was like $6.99 or something like that. I used my coupon. I just wanted to show you the name of it there, if I could get it in. Uh, yeah, whatever that says, that's at Michaels. And you know what? I have used these metallics. And for $6.99 or $10.99, use your coupon. And honestly, they're rich and beautiful. When you lay these down, they are wonderful for the price. So um, only because in the year of 2018, I want to do some brush lettering and calligraphy tutorials. I miss it. I used to do calligraphy more than brush lettering, but I guess brush lettering is more up to date. So I started doing that and I love both. I love uh, each one of them. I'm not, I haven't taken a class in my life for anything, but uh, I do enjoy practicing it, so I'm going to share that with you. Now, I think I'm going to hold these up again. <laughs> yeah, because they're the new gems. I mean, yeah, aren't they beautiful? They would be beautiful. I thought of that red flower right there when I saw the end color in that, that really rich, yeah, don't shake your head at me, uh, that rich, uh, deep red. It's beautiful. Now here is the, what am I going to show you first? I don't know. I just went to the black velvet brush and um, it's fun learning how to paint and use a larger brush than you used to. Yes. And that was my decision. I do have number 12 brushes, but I thought I would order. I love the black velvet line. And look at that. I'm just feeling it. It comes to such a point on there. Yeah, I just heard my email go off over there. So I was just checking something. I'll be back. There we go. <laughs> uh, look at the beautiful end on that. I love it. And uh, I think I go over to show you. I only have four of them. I mean, when you have, when you've bought a lot of brushes over time, you don't want to uh, spend. These are not cheap. But, you know, you always get what you pay for, right? So I wanted to uh, invest in this. So I keep them in this package. 
So now my collection of black velvet is four, and I think it's enough. I do have quite a bit of other brushes that I like that I get at Michael's when they go on sale. And uh, come on, Carol, work your way, get them out of there. And I was just showing you the difference in the sizes. Yeah, I'm even gonna paint, hang on, I'm painting a daisy. Just a minute, there you go. <laughs> I have crazed out of my mind today. I'm so excited to be back and healthy. I, I can't even tell you. So um, there's the sizes right there. And look at that. Look at that brush. I'm going to do, of course, I, I ordered it because I want to do some pa uh, paintings on some uh, cards. You know, some A2 size cards. And just uh, have some fun with that. And uh, I can... I am not going to bring my laptop over to where I am because it distracts me. You know, when uh, I'm, I'm nosy, I want to see who's emailing me. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Aren't they beautiful? And if I could see, I tried to turn them around to show you the sizes. If I could see that, boy, at my age, I can't see anything, even with my glasses on. But I think, get up there, Carol. I think it's the 12... Four, six, eight, and twelve. Woohoo! I did it. I almost had my my nose stuck up to the Mac. <laughs> yeah, just to see that. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm beautiful. And then um, I, I hope to put that away. And everybody loves the Scotch mounting tape. I have to tell you something really funny. Before Christmas, my washing machine went. And it lasted me, it was a um, Whirlpool washer dryer, and it lasted us 16 years. I mean, hello. And then a few days before Christmas, that crazy washer went. I was so happy, actually. So the Saturday before Christmas, we went out together to get a new washer. And I was thinking I was going to get a Whirlpool, but I think that we ended up getting a Samsung. But on the top of it, the entire top of it has this foam. And it covers the top of the washing machine. It's fabulous. So I am taking it apart and cutting it into strips for using in my craft room. <laughs> Everything I see has to do with crafting. So, I don't know. I just thought I'd share it. I thought it was really funny because I said, don't touch that foam on the top. I'm going to cut it off myself and, and I'm going to use it in my craft room. So here you do. You get it. Here you go. You get it in one inch like those to see I was running low. And you get it in half inch. I like the half inch one, but I think I'm going to have to wait on getting a roll of that. Because uh, it's like gold as well. And um, so anyway, there was a sale and that's why I got that. And now I'm just going to put those away. You always feel better, don't you, when you... Um, are running low and then you are able to um, get you know the supplies that you need and they'd rephrase that should I the things that we want <laughs> my wanter is sometimes a little more than it should be but there goes those uh, retract retractable blades and I want to share a super blessing uh, May over on Altenew sent me it's coming I, I thought it was going to be today the beautiful blossom mini blossom die cutter the small one for my desk there and um, so in order to use it and uh, do a video with it the mini blossom uh, yeah don't shake your head I'm going to do a tutorial on it I am and as soon as it gets here I think like I just got this order today so it should be any day now thank you so much me what a blessing to have that coming to me and then I placed an order so that I could do uh, some cards and this was one I love by Altenew it's the crafty stamp set and it has all sentiments to do with sending things from one crafter to another and they're gorgeous sayings I love it I mean on a personal note we crafters we're we're a different breed aren't we like we stick together like glue we have the same interests in that it's like when I um, I like to bow hunt and I like to do competitions you know um, and having all sons I used to we all went 
we had an archery shop and we went to competitions and I love to compete with not only a bow, like a bow, it, I like to compete with handguns and um, travel. We did a lot of traveling in, when we competed and we were, that was like a family as well. It's like, you know, going out with your Harley that's your family. You you stop for a tea and somebody else pulls in with a Harley and immediately you have this connection. And uh, that's what it's like with crafting. Uh, we all have a connection one with another. And I am so blessed with such wonderful subscribers. And I left this in. I'm reading it actually. <laughs> I'm reading it out loud. I just love the sayings in this uh, crafty stamp set and I think you will too when I do the card uh, with this and I like to put it on the back of envelopes. Isn't that cute? Just so many cute, cute sayings on there. And then, so I did, I liked this uh, sticker sheet. I don't buy many stickers, but this was so cute. It's called Our Family, and um, it has a stamp set that goes with it. But see down in the right-hand bottom, it has that frame. Well, I got the die for that, so I thought I would put that on an envelope, the sticker there, when I send it out. It's so cute. And when I ordered this time, and uh, I took my time to get uh, sentiments. I wanted to get some fabulous sentiments as you see there and because May was sending me the um, mini blossom die cutting little machine I can't wait to try that. It should be here today or Monday. I knew I wanted to get some different die cuts to use it and to do some tutorials and I want to thank you May. What a blessing that was to me. I don't get very many things or people sending me things or telling me to order anything and uh, so you sending me that mini blossom just was a delight. Really blessed my soul and so when I made this order and bought these dies and stamps I was thrilled because I knew that little mini blossom was coming and of course I need to have new dies right? So uh, let's see what they say. And while I'm looking at it, each one of the fonts are different. That's what's wonderful about uh, Alta New dies. And I got this little Alta New sentiment scent. I liked the font on it. I have a thing for fonts, you know. Um, and if you have the Copic Multiliners, you can, you know, hand letter and then put a sentiment on it. But look at the I love you in this and the everyday... Um, I, just, I can't even read that. That's terrible. When that comes up, maybe I need to invest in some glasses, the new glasses. <laughs> I just got my glasses last year, so I can't do that. <laughs> my husband would have a, he'd be there, you need new glasses? <laughs> you need a washing machine? <laughs> oh, you need lights? Okay. <laughs> I think it's hysterical. I am only saying that because I've just had been blessed so much. I couldn't ask my husband for another thing, even if it was uh, glue. <laughs> yeah, isn't this? Look at the size of this die. I love these sentiments, and this will help you with your brush lettering because you can uh, use it as a stamp. I'm going to show you that. How you can use it as a die cut and a stamp in a tutorial so uh, that's why <laughs> yeah I have to be careful I don't want to be asking for anything else that's the die right there that beautiful family frame die I loved ordering these look at the size of them and this one I'm sh showing you there well I'm not showing you yet but that's the inside guts for an A2 envelope it's beautiful yeah and so uh, when my little mini blossom comes, I'm going to use all of these sentiments and run those through. And I think it's fabulous to have one of those small ones. Even though I have the Big Shot Plus and the Vagabond here, and I think I actually have the Stampin' Up! Black Big Shot from years back, that when I have my friends come down, when they fly in and we craft together, I get those out. Look at that. Believe. It's beautiful. 
beautiful. And I'm going to do a tutorial, like I said, showing you how to use that as a die and a stamp. And look at the happy birthday font here in the brush lettering. Is that not gorgeous? I really love the dies here. Um, I mean, Altenew has beautiful stamps and matching dies, but the sentiment dies got to me. I think they're beautiful. And this is the thank you. It matches the happy birthday. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful font? And I'm going to save it until I get that uh, little mini blossom May. I can't tell you how excited I was to uh, hear that that was coming. And this has for you and joy and hello. And it's like I said, it's the inside portion of an A2 envelope. So I can't wait to use that. I have a tutorial up that shows you how easy it is to make an inside liner for your envelopes. But how cool is this to just run it through and then if you're not mailing it, even if you are, you could make the sentiments um, on the envelope flap with these dies and then put them back in and tape it. Oh, I can't wait to do that. And then I needed some more dots. Everybody needs lots of dots. I think they're wonderful. And I'm going to add that to my small collection. I don't have much. I used quite a bit of them a couple of years ago. But the colors, the teals, and the grays, and the yellow, and the purple. purple. I, you know, I don't use much purple, but I do love it. And so it had the hearts on it for my heart cards that I'm going to do for February. Look at that. Love the reds. I actually have... A little collection of different styled heart dots they're really nice and there's that my family frame boy can that get some use can't wait to use that as well may I quickly just thank you once again uh, for everybody that makes my channel so special I really think I have a wonderful family of subscriber friends and uh, over the last five years you have um, been such an inspiration and encouragement for me to create. And here's that home collection. Uh, generally, I buy the uh, chipboard from Blue Fern. I love their chipboard. But now that Altenew has the matching set for, I think it's called Our Home or Family. I'll leave a link on that on my blog. And I'm just setting it all up so I can take a picture for the end of this tutorial. So while I'm doing that, you can see the different sentiments. And when my next two orders come in, I will share that with you. But first, we have to get that polychromo card done. Two cards in one, I'm showing you some techniques with that. Not only am I using polychromos, but we're going to actually use distress inks and things with it so um, I want to get that up but this just arrived and my excitement got the better of me and I wanted to share it with you my crafting family and at the end of my tutorials on the left hand side upper there's a my pictures up there and uh, you just press on that and you'll be able that is a subscription picture <laughs> So just press my head and you'll be subscribed to my video. And then if you press that little bell, I think, by the subscribe at the beginning of my tutorials, they will come into your um, emails. That's the way it's supposed to work. And uh, I hope it does. And uh, anyway, I just want you to stay healthy, stay warm. It's in Ontario, minus 22 today, so stay bundled up. And I will see you shortly on the next tutorial, my friends. Do take care. Bye now.